hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna do a review on a dishwasher so i had to change my old dishwasher and i decided to get this one first of all these are the instructions it came with and as you can see it's from bosch this is an old company which makes electrical appliances and as i say old is gold so this is a classic washing machine with a modern twist so this is how it looks inside so right over here is where you're gonna put your soap you put your soap in the hole over here and you just um, push it down and cover it up and this part over here is for a neutralizer now this is the upper part and this is how it looks like as you can see it's quite spacious I mean it's not the biggest because it's not for commercial use and the inside is made of both metal and plastic and this is where you can put your small caps and you know your coffee cups and your small tea caps I put my cups and the smaller stuff at the upper side and uh, on the lower side I put the you know bigger more you know dirtier stuff over there and here we have the drain this is where the water will go here we have the salt container this is where you're gonna put some salt as you can see there is water inside because I did an empty wash before this is what you have to do when you buy a new dishwasher okay so let's talk about how it works I must say this Bosch is um, you know in collaboration with finish if you use a dishwasher you know what finish is you know there is a company which makes um, soaps and stuff for you know dishwashers you can see this says is was made in Spain and these are the specifications. So this is the on and off button. Obviously, if you want to switch it on, you click here. If you want to switch it off, you know, you push this button. And here we have the timer in case you don't want to wash your stuff now. You know, we have um, nine hours, six hours and three hours. If you want to start it after three hours or if you want to start it after six hours or nine hours, you set it with this timer. Okay, so this is what we use to rinse. You know, sometimes you don't want to wash, you just want to rinse them. So this button is used for rinsing. If you want to rinse, you just choose this and it's just going to rinse the stuff for you without washing them and this over here is when you're washing big stuff okay when you're washing the very dirty big stuff you choose this option because it washes longer and it uses water at uh, 70 degrees celsius which is quite hot so if you have very dirty utensils this is what you have to choose we have this automatic over here which washes at a temperature of uh, you know from 45 degrees celsius to 65 degrees celsius this is used for everyday wash now this echo here is the economical version and this is basically gonna take longer it is gonna wash at a 50 degrees Celsius and it is gonna save some water for you so if you want to save some water you would want to choose this economic uh, economical version now this is um, this button is for 60 it washes at a temperature of 60 degrees Celsius and it's used for you know bowls which are you know medium dirty not so dirty okay finally this is for glasses and as you can see it washes at 40 degrees Celsius as you know glasses are not so so dirty because we just drink water and wine and you know juices out of it so this is going to use a lower temperature the buttons over here we have one to the left and one to the right this is how you choose the program depending on what you want this is going to select the kind of program you want for you okay this kind of a brush something you see over here shows that it is working if it's on that means it's gonna wash it thoroughly so if you see this light on it means um, it is ready to work It's gonna give it you know a thorough clean and the second one over here like the water is a uh, 
for rinsing when you see those lights on it means uh, it's finished washing and it is rinsing okay and the last one over here shows that is gonna dry okay this dries it up this sign like the sun shows that um it's gonna dry it up you know when you finish washing is so watery and you have to dry it up so this signifies that is gonna dry the stuff after washing if you don't want it to dry you can just tune this off and you know dry it with a napkin or something the second you know which looks like a recycling and s shape here signifies that you know it's going to recycle the water that means it's going to use the water that is it's not going to use a lot of water it's going to use the water for the first time the one the water that is going to use to rinse is going to use that same water to wash again before rinsing again with another water so this is uh, basically saving you some water then you have this top button over here which shows that your water connection is perfect so if it's on it uh, implies that your water connection is perfect okay so obviously this is the start button after you've chosen everything you want you just push start and it starts working so one good thing about this washer is the fact that it's um, it has a silencer you know it doesn't make noise you know you know our old washers make so much noise when washing and sometimes even if you're watching tv you cannot really hear what they're saying because it's so noisy but this one washes silently it doesn't make any noise and it's a good thing Okay, so this is when I tried it. I this is my first wash, and as you can see, this is the upper part. It did a very great job. The stuff is so so clean. I keep my you know small plates and the not so dirty stuff up here, and it's so so clean as you can see. So this is where we put the forks and knife and cutlery. You know, this is where you put them, and it's made of plastic, and you can open and close it. With this part, you can keep, you know, some knives. So this is where you put your knives, your kitchen knives, if you want to wash them. And as you can see, this is the lower part and it's done a great job. All my cutlery is neatly washed and they are sparkling. My plates are so, so clean. And I must say, this is a good thing. And the fact that it saves energy is a very good idea. I really love this washer and I do recommend it. It does a very great job. And I must say this costs about 450 euros. So it's not that bad. It is great, especially for its price. Okay guys, so this is it. I hope you like this video. If you want to try it, it's a good thing and I do recommend it. So if you're not subscribed, do not forget to hit the subscribe button right now. Don't forget to share this with your family and friends and don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Until next time, I'm going to see you again with another nice and interesting one. Bye bye.